Hello students, in this lecture we will uh, solve some integrals having some typical substitution. So see these uh, integrals which are very important for JMN. This is the first integral which is uh, given to you and the given integral i is uh, x square minus 1 divided by x square plus 1 into square root of 1 plus x to the power 4 dx. So if we observe the options of this integral, uh, we see this term x square upon 1 plus x square, x square upon 1 plus x square, x square upon 1 plus x square. So we will try to bring this term in this integral. So for this, we will uh, divide this equation by x square. Observe all the steps uh, which I am using to evaluate this integral. First step is divide uh, numerator and denominator by x squared. So this integral i becomes integration of if i divide numerator by x square i will get 1 minus 1 by x square in numerator if i divide uh, denominator by x square so i will divide this term by x and I will divide this term by x. So that will be divided by x square. See so if I divide x square plus 1 by x, I will get x plus 1 by x. And if I divide this root of 1 plus x square by x, I will get square root of square root of 1 by x square plus x squared. So after dividing numerator and denominator by x square, denominator becomes x plus 1 by x into square root of 1 by x square plus x square dx. Okay. Now uh, I have to substitute here uh, x plus 1 by x, x plus 1 by x equal to t whose, whose derivative is 1 minus 1 by x square. I have to substitute this as t whose derivative is 1 minus 1 by x square. So for that uh, I will make some adjustment here. Observe this uh, step again. Next integration of 1 minus 1 by x square divided by x plus 1 by x into square root of now see this 1 by x square plus x square, 1 by x square plus x square. So we know that x plus 1 by x whole square is x square plus 1 by x square plus 2. So this x square plus 1 by x square. This x square plus 1 by x square can be written as x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2. So, uh, I will replace this 1 by x square plus x square by x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 dx. Okay. Now, see here. Uh, I have to use the substitution x plus 1 by x equal to t. So, here the substitution which I am going to use. I will put this term as t put x plus put x plus 1 by x equal to t. This is my substitution. So using this substitution, uh, uh, derivative of uh, x is 1, derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So 1 minus 1 by x square dx will be equal to dt differentiating with respect to t. Now see this uh, integral i becomes, this integral i becomes 1 minus 1 by x square dx. This 1 minus 1 by x square and this dx 
will become dt upon uh, this one x plus 1 by x is t now and uh, this is square root of uh, t square t square minus 2 now the integral is like this again i have to evaluate this integral so i have to again uh, use some uh, another substitution to bring this integral in the standard form so students again i will multiply and divide this integral by t multiply by t t dt divided by t square t square into square root of t square minus 2 I have multiplied and divided by t to numerator and denominator. Okay. Now see students. Again, I will substitute uh, another substitution here. Uh, put put this t square minus two. See this root root in the root there is the term t square minus two. This I will take as another substitution as y t square minus 2 equal to y so i will get t square i will get t square as y plus 2 and differentiating this i will get 2t dt equal to 2t dt is equal to this is i have to take y square I have to take this as y square t square minus 2 equal to y square so t square equal to y square plus 2 t square equal to y square plus 2 so 2t dt will become uh, 2y dy 2y dy okay now see this uh, 2 2 will get cancelled this 2 2 will get cancelled and I have I have this t dt t dt t dt will be equal to y dy now see this integral again here this integral becomes now again this t dt t dt t dt is now uh, y dy t dt is y what y dy divided by uh, this uh, the root of t square minus 2 root of t square minus 2 <coughs> So t square minus 2 is y square and root of y square is y. So this becomes y and this t square t square is now y square plus 2. t square is now y square plus 2. So this integral is now in standard form. So here y y will get cancelled and the integral is very simple. Uh, this y y will get cancelled. And this integral is dy upon y square plus 2. So 2 is root 2 square. Okay. So we have to use double substitution here. First we have substituted x plus 1 by x equal to t. Then again we have used this substitution t square minus 2 equal to y square. So this type of integral is here. And the in formula is here for integration of 1 upon x square plus a square 1 by a tan inverse of x by a so this becomes this becomes 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 tan inverse of tan inverse of y by root 2 plus c so this is 1 by root 2 tan inverse of tan inverse of so what is the value of y here we have substituted a t square minus 2 equal to y square. So y becomes square root of t square minus 2 upon root 2 plus c. Again we have to go uh, in the original variable x. So again we have to put t equal to. Again we have to put t equal to x plus 1 by x. So t equal to x plus 1 by x substitute here. So this becomes 1 by root tan inverse of uh, square root of x plus 1 by x whole square minus 2 upon square root of 2 plus c and this becomes 1 by root 2 tan inverse of square root of again this x plus 1 by x square minus 2 
here plus 2 minus 2 will get cancelled middle term and I will get x square plus 1 by x square divided by square root of 2 plus c. So this is the integration of this given function 1 by root 2 tan inverse of x square plus 1 by x square by root 2 plus c. So this answer option c is correct here but here is one printing mistake here should be root 2. So it is 1 by root 2 tan inverse of x square plus 1 by x square by root 2 plus c. So students <coughs> this type of integrals are very very important for j main. Can again observe all the terms uh, all the steps how I have used the substitutions to evaluate this integral. Okay now see we will uh, evaluate the second uh, integral which has again some special uh, substitution typical substitution so here the integral is here the integral is integration of e to the power minus x divided by 1 plus e to the power x dx okay so to evaluate this uh, integral i have to uh, I will multiply both numerator and denominator by e to the power mul minus x multiply numerator and denominator by e to the power minus x. Now see here this integral becomes e to the power minus x into e to the power minus x numerator is multiplied by e to the power minus x upon 1 into e to the power minus x is e to the power minus x plus e to the power x into e to the power minus x will become 1 dx. Okay. Now I will use the substitution here. Uh, put this denominator e to the power minus x plus 1 equal to t uh, which will give e to the power minus x equal to t minus 1. And after differentiating this uh, minus of e to the power minus x dx equal to dt and e to the power minus x dx equal to minus dt. Okay. Now uh, this integral becomes after substitution this integral i becomes see here uh, e to the power minus x this e to the power minus x this one of the e to the power minus x is now t minus 1 so this is t minus 1 okay and uh, upon this e to the power minus x plus 1 e to the power minus x plus 1 this is t this is t right this is t and uh, e to the power minus x dx e to the power minus x dx now this is minus dt okay so this integral becomes multiplying by minus 1 to this bracket this becomes 1 minus t by t dt so it is 1 by t minus 1 dt and integrating the first term integration of 1 by t is log t minus integration of 1 dt is t plus c. Now we will put the value of t uh, to convert the answer into the terms of x. So it is log of t, t what is t here? So t is e to the power minus x plus 1 e to the power minus x plus 1 minus e to the power minus x plus 1 plus c. So this is the integration but in the option there is the no term of e to the power minus x plus 1. So we have, we have to again simplify this uh, answer is uh, answer is simplified like this log of uh, e to the power minus x plus 1 is 1 plus e to the power x upon e to the power x minus of e to the power minus x plus 1 plus c <coughs> right now this log of 1 plus 
e to the power x minus log of m by n is log m minus uh, log n. So it is log of e to the power minus x minus of e to the power minus x multiplying by minus 1 to the bracket minus 1 plus c. Right. Now see here. This is log of 1 plus e to the power x minus log of e to the power x is x log e. Log e is 1. So this is x minus e to the power minus x. And here the c is constant, arbitrary constant. 1 is again constant. So this minus 1 plus c is the constant of integration. So this total constant is c here. So this is plus c. So the integration is log of 1 plus e to the power x minus x minus e to the power minus x plus c. So here this uh, first option is correct. Log of 1 plus e to the power x minus x minus of e to the power minus x plus c. So this is the uh, answer to this uh, integral. Very nice. Uh, Question. So, so all the uh, integrals is having some special or typical substitution here. So this is the question number two. Now see the next question number three. This is the uh, integrals of uh, dx by 2ax plus x square to the power 3 by 2. So see here how we can uh, evaluate this integral using some special uh, substitution some typical substitution so I have this integral uh, dx by dx by 2ax plus x square to the power 3 by 2 so to evaluate this integral I have to make some adjustment here I am observing all the options uh, as x plus a x plus a, x plus a, x plus a, x plus a. All the options are having the term x plus a. And here denominator is 2ax plus x square to the power 3 by 2. So if you observe that, uh, we know the x plus a whole square. So if we uh, square this term, we get x square plus a square plus 2ax, right? So we can write here, 2ax plus x square. 2ax plus x square adds x plus a whole square minus a square. So like this, this 2ax plus x square uh, will be converted in the form of x plus a. So we will replace uh, this 2ax plus x square. Integration of dx by we will replace 2ax plus x square by what? x plus a whole square minus a square. So this becomes x plus a whole square minus a square to the power 3 by 2. Right. So uh, now see here uh, 2ax plus x square is written as 2ax plus x square is written as x plus a whole square minus a square. Now see here what type of substitution we have to use. Now the denominator is uh, in the form of denominator is in the form of this expression is in the form of x square minus x square. So for this we always use the substitution x equal to a sec theta. This is the uh, substitution for this expression standard substitution is here for the expression x square minus a square. So here x square minus a square, it means x plus a whole square minus a square. So we have to substitute here. This is the typical substitution x plus a equal to a sec theta. We have to substitute like this. Then the integral will be in the standard form. Okay. Now see here. <coughs> uh, differentiate this. Uh, dx1, dx and dx is equal to a is constant, uh, a constant and the derivative of sec theta is uh, sec theta into tan theta. Okay. Now see here, 
this integral i will become integration of uh, i have to replace this dx by a sec theta tan theta a sec theta tan theta uh, upon dx by a sec theta tan theta d theta will be here again d theta right uh, divided by x plus a whole square so i have to write x plus a x a sec theta so this becomes a square sec square theta x plus a is a sec theta so x plus a whole square will be a square sec square theta minus a square uh, to the power 3 by 2 right so this becomes i is equal to integration of a sec theta into tan theta into d theta divided by divided by now see here uh, this a square common and sec square theta minus 1 becomes tan square theta sec square theta minus 1 becomes tan square theta and whole term to the power 3 by 2 so this becomes integration of a sec theta into tan theta into d theta divided by so a square to the power 3 by 2 2 2 will get cancel i will get a cube and tan square theta to the power 3 by 2 2 2 will get cancel i will get tan cube theta so here is the constant a upon a cube so 1 by a square will be constant in this integral <coughs> 1 by a square will be constant in this integral taking it outside and the term which uh, will get cancelled <coughs> uh, numerator will be sec theta upon tan theta upon tan cube theta so one tan theta will get cancelled and this will be tan square theta d theta okay now see here 1 by a square as it is integration of we will convert this in terms of sine and cos so sec theta is 1 by cos theta into 1 by tan square is cot square and cot square is cos square by sine square theta d theta okay so here again a uh, double substitution will be used uh, how the so double substitution can be used here 1 by a square constant integration of so this one cos theta will get cancelled and i have cos theta upon sine square theta d theta okay so if again i have to take sine theta equal to t because derivative of sine theta is cos theta here so new substitution again here sine theta equal to t sine theta equal to t therefore cos theta d theta equal to dt and now this integral becomes 1 by a square integration of dt by dt by t square right so integration of 1 by t square is minus 1 by t so integration of 1 by t square is minus 1 by t so it is minus 1 by t plus c and the integration is minus 1 by a square into 1 by t so what is t here first we have to substitute t as sin theta so sin theta is uh, t equal to sin theta so this becomes minus 1 by a square into cosec theta plus c but again we have to convert the uh, cosec theta in terms of x we have to give the answer in terms of x here so our original substitution was what x plus a equal to a sec theta <clears throat> and we have to find the value of cosec theta we have to find the value of what cosec theta so see here our original substitution was x plus a equal to a sec theta <clears throat> so here sec theta becomes x plus a upon a and cos theta becomes a upon x plus a so we will use the right angle triangle here 
to convert cosec theta in terms of x so see here cos theta is cos theta is we will take this right angle and this acute angle as theta uh, cos theta is uh, a upon uh, a upon x plus a adjacent by hypotenuse so using this uh, <coughs> remaining side by pythagoras we will calculate this so it is x square x plus a whole square minus a square so this becomes x square plus 2ax plus a square minus a square a square a square will get cancelled and this will be x square plus 2x here <coughs> 2ax 2ax right now uh, 1 minus 1 by a square <coughs> now uh, i will uh, write here cosec theta from this triangle i can write the value of cosec theta here so cosec theta is hypotenuse by opposite side root of uh, x square plus 2ax x square plus 2ax and here is the cosec theta now x plus a divided by square root of x square plus 2ax plus c so this is the answer to this question uh, say two substitutions are used uh, in this integral first substitution was x plus a equal to a sec theta and uh, the second substitution is again sin theta equal to t so here are some integrals in which we have to use the double substitution typical substitution is here uh, you can observe all the <coughs> steps again and uh, each and every steps is clearly explained and all the questions all the integrals are very 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 important for uh, j main so the answer is minus 1 by a square uh, x plus a upon x square plus 2x so this is the option c here minus 1 by a square x plus a upon 2a x plus a square plus c so this is the third integral having the typical substitution now students we will solve the next fourth question number four here this is again having some special or typical integration but uh, this question is uh, uh, not so much difficult like uh, first three this is also a very simple question so the given integral is given integral i is integration of so i will write this one by x to the power five uh, into x raised to 4 minus x to the power 1 by 4 dx now see here uh, all the uh, if we observe the options uh, all the options are having this uh, term 1 minus 1 by x cube 1 minus 1 by x cube 1 plus 1 by x cube so terms like this we have to bring in this integral so how i can bring this term in this integral uh, for that i will take x to the power 4 common from this bracket x to the power 4 common so it is 1 minus 1 by x cube whole to the power 1 by 4 dx right so this becomes integration of 1 upon x raised to 5 so x to the power 4 to the power 1 by 4 this becomes x and the 1 minus 1 by x cube to the power 1 by 4 dx and this becomes integration of 1 upon x upon x to the power 5 is 1 upon x to the power 4 into 1 minus 1 by x cube uh, to the power 1 by 4 right now the problem is uh, solved here uh, we will uh, take the substitution uh, 1 minus 1 by x cube as t so substitution is here put uh, 1 minus 1 by x cube equal to t so derivative of 1 is 0 and derivative of minus uh, 1 by x cube so it is uh, uh, plus 3 by x to the power 4 
dx equal to a derivative of 1 upon x to the power n minus n upon x to the power n plus 1 using this formula of derivative. So minus minus becomes plus minus 3 upon x to the power 4 dx equal to dt. And uh, this uh, uh, dx by x to the power 4 becomes dt by 3. Now I can easily um, convert this integral in terms of uh, t. So this becomes 1 minus 1 by x cube as t. So this is t to the power 1 by 4 and dx by x raised to 4 dx by x raised to 4 is now dt by 3 so it is 1 by 3 into integration of t to the power 1 by 4 is t to the power 5 by 4 divided by 5 by 4 plus c integration of x raised to n so this becomes this becomes uh, 4 by 15 4 by 15 into t to the power 5 by 4 plus c and uh, this is 4 by 15 where t is t is what substitution we have used t is what 1 minus 1 by x cube 1 minus 1 by x cube to the power 5 by 4 plus c so the answer is 4 by 15 into 1 minus 1 by x cube to the power 5 by 4 plus c 4 by 15 single substitution is used here question is uh, not uh, so much difficult and uh, the substitution is also very easy by observing the options uh, you can <coughs> uh, take the idea of substitution which term uh, you have to use for substitution so 4 by 15 uh, 1 minus 1 by x cube to the power 5 by 4 first option is correct right so this is the question number 4 now see the next question number 5 here uh, this question is integration of integration of let i be the integral integral is given as x square plus x into x to the power minus 8 plus 2x to the power minus 9 whole to the power 1 by 10. So substitution for using the substitution I have given this first I will write this integral x square plus x into x to the power minus 8 plus 2x to the power minus 9 whole to the power 1 by 10 dx so see here what adjustment uh, we can do here uh, i will take this uh, uh, x common from this bracket so it will be x plus 1 into x to the power minus 8 plus second bracket as it is 2x to the power minus 9 whole to the power 1 by 10 dx now integration of this x plus 1 as it is. Now observe this x. I have to multiply this x to this bracket. So for that I will write this x as I will write this x as x to the power 10 whole to the power 1 by 10. So that is automatically x only and the bracket next is x to the power minus 8 plus 2 x to the power minus 9 whole to the power 1 by 10 dx now i can multiply these two terms both terms have the same power 1 by 10 so this becomes integration of x plus 1 and uh, this becomes x to the power 10 into x to the power minus 8 plus 2x to the power minus 9 whole to the power 1 by 10 dx a raised to m into a raised to n is a b raised to m okay so both will have the same power 1 by 10 now i can multiply this uh, bracket x plus 1 observe carefully so multiplying this uh, two terms x to the power 10 into x to the power minus 8 becomes 
x square plus 2 into x to the power 1 2 x whole to the power 1 by 10 dx. Now we can easily observe that in the derivative of x square plus 2 x in the derivative of x square plus 2 x we can find x plus 1 in the derivative of x square plus 2 x we can find x plus 1 so here is the substitution x square plus 2 x equal to t this is the substitution here so uh, differentiating this we will get 2 x plus uh, 2 dx equal to dt and x plus 1 dx will be equal to dt by 2. Now see here this integral i becomes integration of uh, this x square plus 2x is t now. This x square plus 2x is t. So this is t to the power 1 by 10 and x plus 1 dx. x plus 1 dx is now dt by 2. So this is dt by 2. Okay. Now the constant uh, here is taking outside of integral 1 by 2 and integration of t to the power 1 by 10 dt. So it is 1 by 2 and integration of t to the power 1 by 10 integration of x raised to n x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1. So it becomes 11 by 10 by 11 by 10 plus c right so 1 by 2 divided by 11 by 10 it is denominator is 11 by 5 which becomes 5 by 11 into t t is t is now what square plus 2x to the power 11 by 10 plus c this is the integration of this given function and the substitution here used was x square plus 2x equal to t. So you have to practice uh, the integrals like this which have some typical substitution. So the answer is 5 by 11 into x square plus 2x to the power 11 by 10. So here first option is correct. So students uh, you have to solve uh, so many integrals like this having some uh, typical substitution. So in the J exam, there are the uh, questions of uh, uh, indefinite integrations uh, which have some typical substitution. So for that, you have to practice uh, more questions like this. So this is uh, my uh, lecture of uh, integration with uh, typical substitution. And in this lecture, we have solved these five questions. Again, in the next lecture, we will solve uh, five uh, uh, integrals having some special substitution or typical substitution. Okay, students. Bye.